Good morning, guys. Today's children's sermon is coming from my office again. We're not in the sanctuary yet, but we'll be there in a couple weeks. So today's children's sermon is called, Why God Sent Jesus. Jesus grew up going to a synagogue to worship God. And a synagogue is where Jewish people go to worship God. And just like our church, we come to church, they call it a synagogue. So he grew up in a town of Nazareth and he went to the synagogue and he the synagogue on, on days of worship and he worshiped God. And as he got older, he left the town of Nazareth. So at this point, everyone in the town of Nazareth was hearing about this Jesus that was doing all these wonderful things that was curing the blind and helping the poor and teaching about God. And it's as if we had somebody here that grew up here and then they left and became real famous. So everybody knew who Jesus was. They, you know, he was famous. In today's words, he would be called famous. Everyone knew him. So one day in his hometown of Nazareth, Jesus walked in, in the synagogue. They were shocked. They did not realize that the Jesus that was famous was the Jesus that was Joseph's son that grew up in Nazareth. So this day in the synagogue, Jesus walks in and they were quiet. They were so quiet. They wanted to hear what he had to say. He had come home to his hometown in the synagogue. So there was a man on, in the synagogue who kept scrolls and scrolls were these long pieces of paper that had scripture on it and it was back then they didn't have books invented so they used the scroll for their worship it was like their bible so the man that was in charge of the scrolls gave Jesus the scroll from Isaiah and Jesus opened it up and he began to read it Jesus read the scroll and it said, God has sent me. God is with me. God wants me to tell poor people good news. This is the news. God loves the poor and God, God's power will help them. But there was more, Jesus said. God has sent me to tell those who are trapped in sad lives that God will bring them happiness and no more trapped feelings. God has sent me to help the blind see. God has sent me to help those who get pushed around by bullies. Jesus has good news from God for the poor, for the bullied, for the blind, for the unhappy and people who feel trapped and sad in their lives. Who else was sent? Who else was he sent there to help? This was an old scripture. So the people in the town of Nazareth had heard this scripture before in the synagogue. They had heard it over and over and over again. But the point was they didn't know who was going to be sent to do these things. Now, as Jesus was reading it, they're realizing it was Jesus who was sent to do these things. He says, I am the one Isaiah was talking about. God is with me and God has lots of good news. I am here to make these things happen just as God wants. Wow! Many, many people will be happy to hear this news. People will see that God loves them and has come to help them. But there are some people in the town of Nazareth that are not going to be happy with this news. They don't want to help the poor. They're rich. They don't need to help the poor. They, some of these people are already so happy with their lives. They don't want to change anything. They want it just to stay the same. And they might be the bully. The bully doesn't want to change. He doesn't want to be told he's not the God does isn't with him because God doesn't believe what he's doing is right. 
So there were some people happy and some people sad. But now everyone in Nazareth knew why God sent Jesus. And so do we. We know that he sent Jesus to teach us that all lives matter, that everyone should be kind to one another, and we should live the way Jesus has taught us to live. We should help the poor. We should help those who are not happy. We shouldn't be a bully. And we should live as he has taught us. So I want y'all to go on this week and have a great week. And remember that we will be back in church soon. Bye, guys.